I'm non rocket expert. Don't you think it's interesting that in all the news stories about the Iranian missile attack, there isn't a single rocket expert that's been interviewed? Yet if those same news sources uh, cover a building falling down or a bridge or anything like that, you know, there's tons of experts that they have on. The last rocket ta attack from uh, Iran was in April. I mean, a few hundred rockets and drones. You'd think since April, you know, half a year or whatever it's been, that they'd have enough time to find some rocket experts to interview when these things happen. So no, no rocket experts uh, <laughs> to talk about uh, what we're seeing on the video. Now, my understanding of most ballistic missiles is that uh, they're very hard to shoot down and you don't see them coming. They're coming so quickly, you just can't see them. So to see them coming in the sky, so either they're broken up parts or maybe Iran uh, modified them to just look like they, they, they were big, you know, they're dangerous missiles. I mean, yes, they blew up, but they didn't seem to really do any damage. So there's just a lot that doesn't make sense. And, you know, if you've been following the Ukraine war for a few years, I mean, don't see anything like this in Ukraine of missiles coming down. So Russia launches its Kinzhal and all these caliber missiles at it all the time. And never do we see such a thing of these Russian missiles raining down. So what's different between the Russian ballistic missiles and the Iranian ballistic missiles? There's so much that does not add up here. Um, my belief um, of what is going on, again, I'm not a rocket expert, is that those are old rockets or the rockets modified to look like Roman candles as they come down, that they didn't really have serious warheads on them, that they weren't really looking to damage uh, anything, um, that they're just used so that uh, uh, Israel would waste a lot of their aero anti-ballistic missiles. Now, even though the aero system probably, well, we don't know how well it works. Again, no rocket expert interviews. Like, how many uh, missiles did the aero system shoot down back in April? Like, we have nothing about it. There's been no follow-up of that um, attack in April. So we don't know what kind of missiles were shot, how many Israel is able to intercept? None of this stuff. There's no factual information. And it just blows my mind that nobody questions it. I mean, that the news doesn't question it, that people who watch the news don't question it. I mean, it's just, you know, the news just repeats what the State Department says. And, you know, as this launch happened today, you know, first they said, oh, it's 100 missiles. And then they said dozens. And now they said 200. Like, you know, make up your mind. And like, it doesn't seem weird to you, like 100 missiles, like, and they don't even say like an undisclosed number of missiles, which is what I think they should have said. No, I mean, I guess the news called up the State Department or whatever when they did the press release of 100 missiles, and they just they just printed it. Somebody made up that number. The number's made up 100 missiles or 200 missiles. That's made up. A few dozen, that's probably accurate. Or, you know, it's probably closer to the truth. But like 100 missiles, like 200 missiles, like this, they, they try and give you the sense of they know exactly what's going on Yet if you think about it for two seconds, you're getting no information whatsoever, right? How many missiles? What kind of missiles? Where do they think they were launched from? What kind of warheads do you think that they have have on them? Anyway, okay. So you launch all this stuff. It hardly does no damage. Again, no questions. Look, why wasn't it a lot of damage? Like, if Israel is able to knock them all out of the sky, why has it been, you know, so killing so many people in Gaza and Lebanon? Like, why has it been unproportional its use of force, right, if actually it's no fear from Iran. So I, I think there is a fear from Iran. Um, I believe that in April that Iran did hit some targets. Like it, what it, it wanted to hit, it hit with some real missiles. And it sent a message because, again, we, the public, get no information. And the news organizations don't even try to get experts to try and get to the some sort of truth of the matter. I think that all the people that know that are in the know um, in, in the U.S., in Israel, in Iran, they know exactly what's going on. They know exactly what kind of missiles were launched. They know exactly how many were shot down. They know what they're dealing with. None of that information goes out into the public. I believe Iran is a very potent thing. And April and this time is basically there. They don't want a full war. Nobody wants a full war. But they're basically giving a demonstration to say, we can do it. In April, I, th I think they could do it. I think Israel knows they can do it, and but they don't believe they ever will. So they did it again, and I think once again, Israel and the United States does not believe that Iran would really do a missile attack that could truly harm Israel. But I believe they can.
Well, I don't know. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. Where's the expert? Where's anybody with sort of any expertise on this stuff in the news? Anyway, I just want to do this quick rant to, to just tell you that it just boggles my mind how there's so many questions that one would should naturally ask about what happened and there's no answers whatsoever but it seems so much certainty about how many missiles and you know that Israel shot them all down and that's an escalation it's all escalation this and escalation that and escalation that. <laughs> okay anyway I've talked long enough so I'll do this quick video see ya